Of course, that doesn't mean athletes themselves are happy to settle for no medals. Silverware doesn't just mean recognition and national pride, as hugely lucrative sponsorship deals, cash payouts, lifetime pensions, and even flashy cars and homes means making the podium at the Olympics can earn some athletes much more. Lee kyung reports. Making a podium in the Olympics can mean even more than glory. In some countries, it means a jackpot, literally. Singapore gives out the most cash, more than 700,000 U.S. dollars for every gold. That's 20 times the price in the U.S. Malaysia also stands out. It gives more for bronze than Australia or Canada give for gold. The gold price in the Philippines ended up much bigger this year than the official amount. Weightlifter Hidalin Diaz is the first gold medalist in her country's history. She reportedly received around $600,000 along with two homes and free flights for life on AirAsia. China, though, does not allow cash prizes, citing the risk of corruption. And Russian athletes get a pension, but officially they were not able to represent their country or play their national anthem because Russia was previously found to have engaged in systematic doping. South Korea's podium price might be the most practical. In addition to financial compensation, male winners are given an exemption from military service. That's happy news for archer Kim Jae-duk and gymnast Shin Jae-han. And South Korea's archers will get an extra prize from their longtime sponsor, Hyundai Motor Group. An San is getting around $600,000 for her triple crown. Kim Jae-dog with two gold medals, $350,000. Others will get half of that each. And of course, they will all get a nice new car. Prizes are given also to those who did not make the podium, but who still made history. Those include swimmer Hwang seon who broke the record for Asia, high jumper Woo Sang-hyuk, who set a new national record, and the volleyball team who demonstrated the Olympic spirit. Lee Kang-un, Arirang News.